Okay, so we're just gonna run through a nice seated stretch. Really, really important to keep the backs of the legs nice and flexible. So a lot of times we find that the backs of the legs can be really, really tight, and it's a real pleasure to release them, especially after you've done a big workout, um, and it can help with your recovery as well as making sure you remain mobile. So remember, the more mobile you are, the bigger the range of motion is going to be when you're exercising, you're gonna be able to get far more out of your muscle building exercises. So flex flexibility is really, really key. Now for this I've got a scarf, this is literally just a standard scarf, something that doesn't have any stretch in it because you're just going to use this to help pull yourself down. So on the mat we're going to start sitting upright and to begin with you want to feel like you've got that pelvis underneath you so that you're sitting up nice and tall without pressing the chest forwards, just sitting up nice and tall. Now from here, imagining the hips are like a hinge, you're going to press that chest forward, keeping the abdominals long, keeping the lungs able to be used and fill deeply, and only allowing the upper body to relax once you've hit your maximum. And all the way down. Now for some of you, folding all the way down might feel really, really difficult, a little bit of an issue, and that's where the scarf will come in. So what you can do is hook this scarf underneath the soles of your feet, and you can actually use this to pull yourself down. And this is gonna help to release some of the tension in your neck and your lower back uh, and your kneecap, so that actually just allow the scarf to pull you down. So you may feel an opening in the lower spine, as well as a stretch up the backs of the legs, top and bottom, and try to release any tension that you may be holding on to, relaxing the muscles in the legs, and make sure you're breathing, and return. You want to try and hold that for a good 10 to 15 seconds, ideally. Okay. Next, we're going to lay down on the floor, but again, you're going to use the scarf, you're going to place it along the foot, laying down on the back, <clears throat> taking a grip on the scarf. Try to stretch that leg that's in the air. Allow the other one to lengthen out along the mat. And very carefully, you're just going to pull this leg down towards your body. Now what you want to try and do here is keep the knees nice and straight. Okay. What you don't want to do is have a bend in the leg. Try to keep the leg nice and straight. And actually by pulling on the top of the foot, not only is it making it easier for you to make this stretch happen, but actually by keeping the foot in this flexed position, you're going to feel a much deeper stretch into your calf muscle, which can be really nice to release, especially if you're someone who does a lot of running. You might find that that calf muscle can get quite tight. Uh, if you do a lot of cycling, a lot of spin classes, it's really nice to release that muscle. And then you can just bend the knee to relax. And of course, making sure, you always want to make sure you do both sides. So we repeat the process, extending one leg down, nice straight knee, and we simply press. And you can see quite clearly that I've got a big difference in the flexibility between my right and left leg, and that's really, really common. So don't be at all worried if you find that there is a big difference in your flexibility. That is really normal. Very few people are completely symmetrical, so don't let that worry you. It may just mean that you need to work on one side slightly more than you work on the other one. But it's no big deal. And again, after sort of 10 to 15 seconds on each leg, you can rest and relax. So really quick, really, really simple to do, uh, but can have lots and lots of benefits and really, really effective. Remember, the thing with flexibility is it's accumulative. So there's no good doing a whole hour's session once a week. You're going to see very little progression. It's going to take you an awfully long time to see any forward motion. If you want to see real advancement in your flexibility, you're best off just doing two or three minutes every single day. You're going to see far better results far quicker.